What's up everybody? It's your boy Grants coming back with another video. We're going to go over today a little bit about barbarians, something that everybody has to deal with in the game. But there's a couple things that I've learned over the years. Hopefully for some of you new to the game, some of you coming into the game, you can see some of these stats. So as you can see in the background, I just have two marches um, and I just killed a level 25 barbarian. Um, we'll go to the reports right here. So as you can see, there's two different marches. One of these marches, this one right here, it only has regular commanders in there. Regular meaning these commanders are not barbarian type commanders. They are not um, commanders that uh, have talents for barbarians or what we call peacekeeping. Uh, and they're also not commanders that have additional um, XP or experience points uh, as commanders. So as such, this is a 25 level barbarian, highest you can get. Um, except for KVK, but it's a level 25 Barbarian, and as you can see, the XP is 2.8K on each commander. So, the next report is going to be commanders that have XP. So, we have Ethelfled and Lohar. These two have some of the highest stats for adding in uh, experience points. So, as you can see, these ones are 5.8K on each one. And the reason this is so significant is because literally, if the difference between the total amount of XP if I killed, let's say, 50 barbarians, right? Um, if I killed 50 barbarians, the difference between those two is 150,000 experience points. So, with that type of difference, I mean, you're looking at an easy 1.5 million different experience points between the two if I attack in that set, say, 10 more times. Um, but let's go with a little bit more practical number. So usually um, what we try to do is we try to pair the commander that we want to increase their XP, and we pair them with one of these commanders that increase the XP. So, for take for instance, as you can see right here on the commander list, Ethelfled, her experience point bonus is 35%. So the commander that you pair with her is also going to go up 35% more on their XP. So if I'm trying to level up, let's say, Tao Tao, and he's a level 45, for me to go up, he needs 1.7 million points, right? The reason this is significant, especially whenever you pair him, let's say you wanted more aggressively Lohar, Lohar has 70% experience bonus. And then on top of that, you have, sorry, you have your talents. And on top of that, you have even more additional resources and you have additional XP. So you have another 15% on top of it. You know, that's, that's pretty significant, 85% more. And so when you look at the numbers, if you were to do that, if you paired a single march, which of course wouldn't be as much as the 5.8 right there, but that march would get 4.2K, which is 4,200. So if I had that single march, but then I paired one commander with Ethelfled, and I paired another commander with Lohar, and then I paired another commander with another barbarian uh, killing or a peacekeeping tree so you could do uh, and he wouldn't have in his talent tree he wouldn't have experience point bonus but you could get the 15% more just because of the peacekeeping for Minamoto so I mean that's still 15% it wouldn't be as much but it would still be good but you go through here and you have now three solid marches and there's one more other than him you have uh, I believe Boudica peacekeeping um, but the point being is is that you're going to receive that and it might not seem like a much when it's 1000 uh, you know XP in between each one but 
what you want to do is you want to send out three marches or four marches. Usually people send out three because, you know, they can stay out in the field longer because they, they fill up their march all the way with, you know, almost 200,000 troops and they have three marches. Some people march with five, but you have the three marches. Well, the significance is pretty good because whenever you're thinking about it, if you need 1.7 million troops and you're doing 4.2K, on three marches, or just a single march, let's just say a single march, you need 416 kills on a barbarian. So 416 barbarians on a single march only to be able to upgrade that commander one more time from 45 to 46 and so forth. It climbs as it goes. But if you if you didn't have that and you were just doing a regular commander, two regular commanders, it would take 625 times to do that so that i mean that's a pretty significant jump there that's almost 200 more times you have to click on a barbarian just because you chose not to use a commander that has those skills now if you have three marches of those skills to level up that commander you only need to attack 138 barbarians and the difference being 208 on the other one so, I mean, that's pretty significant. So, if you think about it, if I'm marching three all the way out and I'm running around, to click on barbarians 138 times in, let's just say, a day is not too terribly hard. So, 140 times and I'm leveling up that commander. Well, what's that? That's 40, then it's 41, then it's 42, then it's 43. And you're working your way up before you know it. After a month, you have some pretty high level commanders just because of that experience points. On top of that, you're also getting uh, more resources on top of that. So as you can see in the battle report, when you have the peacekeeping tree, um, you're also getting quite a bit more on the resources. So we're getting resource packs, we're getting speed ups, we're getting even more tombs, and we're even getting a little bit of gems. It's just free. It's a no-brainer. Okay. So, I mean, the difference there is is quite substantial. I mean, look at this one. We didn't even get gems on this one because of these guys, you know. So, anyway, those are just some tips and tricks on killing barbarians for some of the new people um, that come to the game and they want to level up their commanders fast and they don't want to spend a bunch of money. Anyway, guys, I appreciate the likes. Please hit the subscribe button. Let me know in comments if you have any tips and tricks because the community might need to see even more uh, than what just I said. So everybody's welcome to talk. Everybody's welcome to share their thoughts. Uh, anyway, guys, hit the like and subscribe. Share my video so I can build up some uh, some fan base, and I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. Peace. Thank you.